spiders would crawl through the corners of the windows onto my bed. And as you can probably imagine, I wasn't the biggest fan. So basically this is the start of a series that I'm gonna do on my channel, trying to make my bedroom more me. Because at the moment, I'm not really vibing with it, but I wanna do it as cheaply as possible. <laughs> There are going to be separate episodes in the series. I don't know how they're going to go yet because obviously I haven't filmed. This one is organising because I need to organise my whole room, rearrange it how I want it to be. And you can come along on the journey with me. I hope you enjoy this. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I can't seem to find an angle today that looks right. I've been saving my room up for a room reorganisation and I wanted to get this in just before Christmas. So you might be watching this after Christmas, who knows. I just want to have a general complete and utter organise of my room, redecorate, well, redecorate, I say redecorate, just sort of like re it up a bit. Thing is, I don't know where to start because there's so much to do that it's almost a bit overwhelming. I have some general clothes I need to put away and then I have all this stuff around the edge which I've been saving up to properly organise um, and then I've got this which I want to put out. I then have all my sewing stuff I want to properly organise because at the moment I've got it in bags like this and I cannot find a thing. I've got wool, I've got paper. So as you can see we really need to sort this out. Kind of embarrassed by the state of my room. I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> Already I've not even started. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the furniture and then put the stuff in the places so that I really like have a clear vision of what I want to do and then I can like organise it from there. Kind of scared. I've had this in here for so long. There's a plug socket, you can't see, but there's a plug socket and it means that it can't go flat to the wall. I think I'm going to put up with it. There was a lot of debris down the back of my cupboard and it's quite gross actually. Um, so I want to hoover this out, I want to organise it, I want to get rid of things I don't need, etc. This could be really good for a mood board or a vision board. Put these drawers back in there for now, then we can organise them at another point. Done this now, and I think that means I'm ready to move on to moving my bed from over here to across there. I've just dumped loads of stuff on it, so <laughs> that's why it's a state. This is such a huge mess now. <laughs> oh no. I really like it like this. Um, <laughs> I know it's covered in stuff at the moment, but eventually I feel like bookshelves here um, and then some sort of storage for sewing stuff here because I really don't have anywhere to put that at the moment. So I'll figure that out. It makes my room feel huge because there's this huge open space in the middle. I'm gonna put my desk there in front of the window so that I can look out at stuff when I'm working because uh, I find when it's here it's really depressing um, so if I put my desk here next and move <laughs> everything that was under my bed over this way and then hopefully we can start organising stuff and bring it back so initially I was going to put the, be uh, the desk here but it cuts off all this extra space here and really closes in this bit here. So I'm thinking, what if we put it here? She's under the desk because she kept running downstairs at the builders and I had to put her in here. I've moved the desk over here, which creates quite a small entranceway here, which I'm not feeling. But it does leave a whole lot of floor space and that gap over here, which I think I will really appreciate. I love how my bed's now not against the radiator because it used to get either really hot or the spiders would crawl through the corners of the windows onto my bed and as you can probably imagine I wasn't the biggest fan 
I can also now open my curtains, which I'm so happy about. It's so exciting. You have no idea. I only ever used to be able to open one properly. Do you think I should figure out my lighting situation next so that we can have decent lighting for this next clip? Yes, I do too. I've got this lamp up here, which I think I'm going to put here so it's next to my bed. I fixed the light here, which is actually a really good place because I used to have it closer to the floor on my tiny bedside table, which is there. And it didn't cast much light over the room, but this is a really good light. And also it means I can read my book better now. Yes, when I can eventually get into my bed. So next, I think I'm gonna go through the boxes that go under my bed. And then gonna have a quick hoover under my bed and then organize the boxes back under. That didn't make much sense, but hopefully you got the point. You'll see as we go along. So I have six, I think, of these. I'm not quite sure what material they are, I guess, rattan, rattan, something like that, boxes. Um, and each one has a different purpose for creative supplies. This one is my paper box, as you can tell. It's a state. So I'm going to clear it out, get rid of stuff I don't need, organise the stuff that is not meant to be in there, and then properly organise the paper that is in there. Because once it's all organised, then I can find my stuff so much easier, and then I can create more stuff. I was watching Stacey Solomon's um, Sort Your Life Out and this is where I was inspired to sort my life out. Basically, Stacey Solomon's Sort Your Life Out, watch it. So that's my paper box organised. I really appreciate it when that's organised because it gets a little bit out of hand sometimes. I've got some stuff to throw away, just some wrappers. Some things I just took out of packets so that I didn't have so much clutter in the box. Um, here I've got sellotapes. I feel like I really want to organise my sellotapes. As a family, we have had, obviously bought sellotape over years for Christmas and things and crafts and things. And every now and again, I will decide that I want to collect them all. So then every time I see a sellotape, I collect it and I put it in my paper box. Um, and I realised that we have an awful lot of sellotapes that are half used. So what I want to do is I kind of want to put them on a stick or something so that I can display them somewhere where I know that we have them all. Um, and then I can grab them when I need them. My family can grab them when we need them rather than having them all shoved in my box and making my box messy. I've also then put things up here that I feel like should be in different places. But the paper box itself is done and I'm very pleased with that one. This one's now organised. Forgot to do a before and after but it really didn't need much doing. There's not anything in here that I want to throw away because it's all art supplies. Next is my wool box and voila. I've even color ordered, color ordered, color ordered it, which that should go there, but I was too lazy to move my crochet hooks over. Okay, that works better now. But look at that, all color ordered. Right, so this is my memory box. This is gonna be an emotional one. I have to go through it quite ruthlessly to be honest because I like to keep this stuff in this box and I only like to keep the things that I really really need or that I really really love. This box is done, very satisfying because I can now shut the lid. Next up is my fabric box. I'm finding this so unbelievably satisfying, like you have no idea. <laughs> either sell or donate. I've finished tidying all my boxes and it's really satisfying. And they're all under here now. Um, I've got a little basket of notebooks over there. This is a bag of scrap fabric, which I need to go through at some point, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time to today. I obviously created a massive mess out here earlier. So I need to deal with that. I don't really know what to do next because I basically created a bombshell. I've just been eating biscuits, I'm probably eating like the whole no i have eaten that whole packet in the last day don't tell anyone they were malted milk biscuits and honestly i'm such a sucker for malted milk like yeah um i don't know what to do because <laughs> literally look at the state of this maybe i'll clear off my bed so i actually have somewhere to sleep that would probably be quite smart wouldn't it yes yes it would be very smart if it wasn't a state already look at it now I've decided that I'm going to take everything off here. Well, technically my mum decided for me. Um, <laughs> that I'm going to take everything off here, put it somewhere, and move everything off my bed because most of the stuff on my bed needs to go up here.
a lot of the general tidying that I'm about to do you, you probably won't be that interested in so I think I'm just going to try and generally tidy this so it's livable. Morning everybody this morning is the morning to organize my sewing stuff which I've been quite excited about because I've figured out a way that I can do it thanks to Pinterest obviously. So I want to organize my bobbins in this drawer here. I could make a little stand for them. I'm just gonna put the bobbins in here for now. I've kind of put them in colour order. So we've got reds going into oranges, yellows, greens, blues. Then I had to go around the corner a bit. So we've got purples, browns, beiges and blacks. I've got a lot of old bobbins because um, my great grandma gave me a load. Um, I inherited a load from her um, and they are beautiful. I've saved quite a lot in here of the ones that are really brittle that won't be able to be used and a few trinkets and bits and pieces and I want to make I'm thinking kind of like an art sculpture of some sort but I don't really know how I'm going to do that yet I got some spare bobbins here which I think I'm just going to put in my sewing box also look how beautiful this box is I'm watching some Zoella now because festive and everything <laughs> um, but also I really need to catch up on her videos. Tripod out, like this feels... Well, it's because... We got... I think my motto is just make it messier before it gets tidier. There's a bit of mould on the wall back there. I need to clean that off in a second. Ignore that. I've got all this fabric here that I kind of want to put onto little bolts, which, um, for those of you who don't know, are like they're like little bits of cardboard that you can wrap the fabric around. Um, this bag is full of scrap fabric that I like to stuff crochet toys with or pillows and stuff. So I'm going to keep that. How cute is Zoe's baby? So in this box, I just have a load of scrap fabric because it's actually pretty useful to have. And also I like to stuff toys with it. Moved on to Alicia Marie Vlogmas because I finished all the Zoella ones. Hello and welcome back to like the a millionth instalment of reorganising my room. Today we have Sleep Hotel, we have Ow, Motel Rocks Jumper, Olivia Neal. I have no words to describe how much I love this. Got this for Christmas. I am so, so grateful for this. This is just so cool <laughs> like i've worn it pretty much every single day since christmas and it's two days after new year's day we just need to get on with organizing honestly the reason i'm wearing this for like the 79th time since christmas is because my clothes currently look like this um we also need to do these drawers my makeup drawer haha <laughs> you thought we were done oh oh dear so i've emptied top drawer this i kind of want to save for accessories got Alicia Marie Vlogmas Day 5 on, even though it's January the 2nd. I'm going to empty this and then I'm going to start loading this up with clothes. I've emptied these two drawers, hoovered them out. So... This one's for makeup and beauty stuff. This one's for jeans and skirts and jackets. Um, I've literally laid out all of my products and there are a lot, a lot. So I'm gonna go through them and I'm gonna cull them a little bit. Personally, I think I've done quite a good job. You should see the amount of stuff I've cleared out. I've put a lot of clothes aside for my younger cousins because I know that they will love them. Um, and I can't be bothered to sell them and I feel like I could just give them to them and they'll appreciate that a lot more. This drawer is revolutionary. We actually have clear space, which is insane. So I've put my makeup cupboard up this way because it collects so much dust and the makeup gets disgusting that I thought it might be better this way around. I've stacked up the palettes here, brushes, don't look at the state of them. I've got everyday products that I use here. I've put all my skincare stuff in here to encourage me to do skincare, hair care, and like body stuff there. This drawer over here, I've put all my accessories in. It's a bit empty, but so is that one. And I prefer the emptier look. It's more pleasing to the eye. I don't know. These are my earrings here. Then we have my t-shirt, shirt, dress kind of drawer. Jumpers, jeans, skirts, joggers, that sort of thing. I'm thinking like a clothes rack could be so cool there. 
but I don't want it to be too cluttered. Put all my jewellery onto here and before I took a lot of this away and put it away because I thought it looked too cluttered but I actually prefer the cluttered look. It's still obviously not tidy but the drawers and things are way more tidy than they were before. So welcome to present day me. For now I'm all I've got to do is I've got to organise under my desk which is things I can't really show on camera so there's not really much point in me filming it. Um, I've got to the point really where my I've edited the rest of the video and it's such a long video that I'm thinking I'm going to end it here. I will give you a quick tour of the finished organisations and then in the next episode we can do something like painting, I don't know, we can have a look. Hi, it's a new day, new me. <laughs> um, but i'm gonna give you the little tour of the room that i promised here obviously i've organized all my jewelry um i've got everything out um i've just got things that i want to put up or like store somewhere in my room at some point i've got my jewelry these necklaces and bracelets are all broken so they need fixing um my plant is dying a little bit but i'm doing my best to save it my drawers are all organised now, as you've seen. I think I showed you they're all like so. Prints we're going to sort out probably in the next video. Here are the clothes that I need to either sew or style to see if I want to keep them or not. Um, Vogue's, I also don't know what I'm going to do with. I want to keep them all, but I don't know where I'm going to put them yet. This sort of stuff will probably stay on my desk, the size tapes. As you can see, like I said at the start of this video, we collect sellotapes and this is the amount I found in my room, which is actually, it's literally terrifying how many sellotapes we have here. So I will be stacking them up for my family to use instead of buying any new ones. Um, this stuff here is kind of just like miscellaneous stuff. This stuff is going to go, on, these are going to go on my bookshelves. Obviously my books going to go on my bookshelves. Um, my laptop, I still don't know where I'm going to put that my retainer yum um and a bit of my bed that i need to fix obviously that shelf is cleared now all my boxes are organized i've now organized these boxes under here too so we have a nice empty space under there um i've got some art supplies there that i need to sort out but i don't know where i'm going to put them yet this stuff down here is sewing some canvases and photography stuff and filming so when i have my shelves up what I'm going to do is I, obviously I'm going to put all my books up there, but that will, because all my books are under my bed at the moment, so I can take everything out from under my bed and put this all under there. This, I don't know what I'm going to do with yet. It might just have to stay there, but basically that's it. Obviously this wall is going to need to be sorted. But yeah, that is the progress of the room so far. I really hope you enjoyed this video and yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I will be here next week for another video where we can hang out again. <laughs> Bye.